Welcome back to Ben's Garage. Previous videos, we've fitted new brakes, we've fitted on the front, new brakes on the back. What I didn't show you was the bedding in procedure for the parking brake shoes on the rear. So we're just gonna try it. I will put it up on the screen. It's in the manual. You don't need any diagnostic gear for this. There's just a procedure we have to put the car into to get it into the, the parking brake service mode. So we'll just try and do that now. Got me other camera. So we need to get the car started up, engine running. That's the first job done. So now what you're supposed to do, I believe, is three pumps on the brake pedal, hold it down, lift the parking brake up four times, push it down three times. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. EPB service mode. So now what we have to do is drive it up the road, get it up above 19 kilometers an hour, pull the handbrake on until it stops the car. Do that 10 times and that's the pad, the shoes bedded in. Um, if you go over 31 miles an hour, it comes out of service mode, so we'll get seat belted on. I've got some passengers today. Yeah, you need to put those windows up. Cause... Yeah. And if you're going to do anything silly, he's already shaking. That'd be all right. Right, I'll put that window up. All right. I'll leave the gate. All right. So. You'll see that the parking brake light is flashing. See you in a bit. Pulling the car up to a stop very slightly. Let it off. We'll go again. Now it says to drive for about 500 yards just to cool those brakes down. So we'll just do that. So now we'll pull up and hold the parking brake lever. Put accelerate, parking brake comes off, but we're still in service mode. Which we will be until we get if unless we drive over 31 miles an hour or 50 kilometers an hour. So we need to do that 10 times, but we need to travel just to let that cool down a little bit. Neighbors will wonder what I'm up to. Let go of the brake lever, accelerate, they come off. And away we go again. Is that three times? Got a few more to do yet. Rather than do the 500 yards, you could always sit there for a minute. It does say that, you could leave it for a minute. So we're just gonna do it again. can feel they're getting a little bit stronger every time we do it. Let that off. Just accelerate. Do a few more miles.
Let's do it again. Keep the lever pulled up until you stop. You can start airing that now, can't you? Let go of the lever, accelerate, parking brake comes off. We'll do that for 10 times and then I'll be back with you. The more times you do it, the tighter it, you can feel they get. So I've got the aircon on because it's getting quite warm out here. It's 26 degrees outside. Dogs are panting a little bit. But the more times you do it, the, the more grabby you can feel the parking brake getting. So you know that they're sort of bedding into the discs. So a couple more times and then that'll probably do. So there we go, 10 times. So now we've done that 10 times, what you could do is just switch your ignition off and that ignition cycle will reset all the service mode. Or you could just get it up to speed and it should just switch off. We'll just get around these dingly dells and I'll put my foot down and it should reset, come back out of service mode. So obviously this car's kilometres an hour, so I've got to get it over 50 kilometres an hour. Which on these roads isn't, yeah, it's... So it's gone off now, you'll see that. Went over 50 kilometres an hour, and it's all off. Hope you can hear me, because I've got the windows open. All these brakes do feel good. Still don't want to be heavy braking, because we're still on the, uh, bedding in period. Just a daily bit of off-roading. As you'll notice, all the gate out the front has been, uh, we've got a gate on the front and we've opened all the land up now, so once we're in, we're in, we can go wherever we like. So if you've changed your parking brake shoes or you've fitted new discs, you need to bed in your parking brake shoes to that disc. That's the procedure of doing it. As I say, I'll put it up on the thing. The manual, you can go over on my website, just download it. Um, 
it covers up to the 2010 model um, and it's quite a good resource basically um, there you go it's something you can do without a bit of diagnostic gear the way that I did it jobs are good one. now these brakes are fantastic so we'll have a few more Range Rover videos coming up and um, and there was me saying we didn't have any Range Rover content and now it's all flooded in. <laughs> so anyway, hope you like this video and it's been a bit of information for you. So if you're doing this job, you can go out and do this, get embedded in, because there's no other way of doing it because you can pull your handbrake on, but it doesn't, as soon as you touch the throttle or do so, it, it switches off. And I don't know if there's a way of disabling that. I don't think there is, but um, it's easy enough to enter, enter into service mode. There you go. So you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.